Assalamu alaikum. Today we are going to learn use of simple proposition by Asma Zaki. Introduction Prepositions are used to indicate a location, direction, time, or to introduce an object. Simple preposition, compound preposition, and phrase preposition. These are three kinds of preposition, but today we'll only focus on simple preposition. Simple prepositions are as in the following. We'll talk about them one by one according to the time. Number one, at. At is used to talk about position at a point. It's very hot at the center of the earth. Turn right at the next corner. Sometimes we use at with a large place as a point, a stage on a journey or a meeting place. The plane stops for an hour at or in Frankfurt. A point on a journey. She lives in Frankfurt, somebody's home. Not she lives at Frankfurt. Let's meet at the club. A meeting point. We use at plus clock time. I go to school at eight o'clock. At plus weekend. What did you do at the weekend? At plus public holiday. We are have having the roof repaired at Easter. We very often use at before the name of a building when we are thinking not of the building itself but of the activity that happens there. For example, I first heard her song at Usha Hall in Edinburgh. Sorry, I didn't phone. Last night, I was at the theater. Eat at the steak house. Best food in town. At is particularly common with proper names used for buildings or organizations. She works at legal and general insurance. At is used to say where people study. He is at the London School of Economics. We use at with the name of a city to talk about the city's university. He is a student at Oxford. At is also used before the name of group activities, at a party, at a meeting, at a concert, at a lecture, and at the match. It is used with the target as looking at, smiled at, Shoot at, laugh at, throwing at, 
shout at and pointing at by method we use by to talk about an action what we do to get a result I kill the spider by hitting it I got where I am by hard work by can mean not later than I'll be home by five o'clock at or before five by can also suggest the idea of progress up to a particular time by the end of the meal everybody was drunk I'll be in bed by the time you get home. By other meanings. Day, by day and by night. Meaning during the day or night. Day by day is equal to each day. Also used for transport. By bus, by train etc. By means just at the side, something that is by you may be closer than something that is near you. By agent in passive clauses, by introduces the agent, the person or thing that is responsible for the action. I was interviewed by three directors. He was killed by a heavy stone. We use with to talk about a tool or other object. I killed a spider with a shoe. We'll have to get it out with a screwdriver. There is a tool. Far. Far introduces new information but suggests that the reason is given as an afterthought. Far clauses never come at the beginning of sentences and cannot stand alone. purpose and cause for can be used to talk about somebody's purpose in doing something but only when it is followed by a noun I went to college for an interview with professor Taylor for the purpose of things can be used before the ing form of a verb to express the purpose of a thing what is what is used for as a subject it is is the cake for eating or just for looking at for causes of reaction for ink can also be used after description of a positive or negative reaction to explain the behavior that caused it we are grateful to you for helping us out Allah is I hope you liked the video but leaving my channel like share and subscribe it thank you